The following is a presentation of Tomorrow's World. In our 21st century, we've experienced earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes, and other natural disasters. We mourn the loss of fellow human beings around the world to injury, homelessness, and death. The January 2010 Haiti earthquake killed more than 200,000, injured 300,000, and left more than a million homeless. In May 2008, Cyclone Nargis in Burma killed around 150,000. We still remember Hurricane Katrina from August 2005, which disrupted millions of lives and caused more than $80 billion in damage. In December 2004, the 9.1 magnitude Sumatra earthquake and the resulting tsunami killed more than 280,000 across South Asia. Countless millions over the centuries have died in tragic circumstances. Will they ever live again? We personally experience the loss of loved ones as well. We mourn their death. But is there any future for those who die? And is there any hope for your future beyond death? My friends, there is hope for all who have died. You need to know what happens after death. Is there life after death? Stay tuned. Greetings to all our friends around the world. When we consider the wars, conflicts, and natural disasters of the last 100 years, we realize that hundreds of millions of soldiers, civilians, men, women, and children have died, many of them in the prime of life. We mourn the loss of our relatives and friends who died from whatever cause. Many nations set aside a day of remembrance, a Memorial Day, to honor those who gave their lives for their country. We often wonder what careers or family life could they have had if they had not met death. One of the most important questions we need to ask is, will the dead live again? Is there a future life beyond the grave? Will we ever meet our deceased loved ones again? On today's program, we'll answer those questions and we'll be offering you a free audio CD titled, Is There Life After Death? This audio CD contains three Tomorrow's World programs. Is there life after death? The three resurrections? And are they all lost forever? This audio CD will give you and your family encouragement and hope from the scriptures. There is hope for the thousands of disaster victims whose life was cut short. There is hope for your deceased loved ones. Be sure to write down the address and phone number to order your free copy. Just ask for the free audio CD on life after death. You can also order this free audio CD on our website at tomorrowsworld.org. Professing Christians sometimes worry about the death of their non-Christian friends and relatives. If they were not saved before they die, are they now burning in a hellfire? Consider that only one-third of the world's population even profess some form of traditional Christianity. What will happen to the billions who never even heard the gospel of Christ? My friends, the Bible answers that question. Think of those who have died in natural disasters. Consider those who were victims of genocide. God is not unfair. Listen, God has a plan of salvation to give every human being who has ever lived a genuine opportunity for eternal life. The January 2010 Haiti earthquake killed more than 200,000. In May 2008, Cyclone Nargis in Burma killed around 150,000. In December 2004, the 9.1 magnitude Sumatra earthquake and the resulting tsunami killed more than 280,000 across South Asia. Millions more have died in famines, wars, and genocides. More than 20 million Chinese died between 1959 and 1962 during Mao Zedong's Great Leap Forward. 
More than 50 million soldiers and civilians died during World War II. More than 11 million Jews and other persecuted minorities died in Nazi Germany's genocides. The Khmer Rouge and Kampuchea killed about 2 million of their own countrymen. Right now, the Darfur conflict in Sudan is raging. More than 200,000 have been killed. What will happen to all those who died in these and other tragic historic disasters? Your Bible reveals the answer to that question. Listen, Revelation 20 depicts a future judgment period for all who have not been given an opportunity for salvation. The giver of life, God Almighty, will resurrect them to physical life. We'll discuss the white throne judgment later in the program. But first, let's see what the Bible teaches concerning life after death for faithful Christians. There are two chapters in your Bible that clearly explain our real hope and our future after death. 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, and 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter. Turn first to 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 13. The Apostle Paul wants us to know the truth about the resurrection. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 13. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. First of all, notice that the Apostle Paul refers to death as a sleep. He does not describe dead Christians as being active or alive in heaven. Now let's continue in verse 16. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Notice again that the resurrection takes place at Christ's second coming, as it says in verse 16, with the trumpet of God. That's the last trumpet, the seventh trumpet described in the book of Revelation. Notice also, this is very important, the same verse, verse 16, and the dead in Christ will rise first. True Christians who have died are not resurrected until Christ returns. Those of us who are alive when Christ returns will join those who have been dead all these centuries and millennia, now resurrected to receive the promised gift of eternal life. That is what all genuine Christians look forward to. The resurrection, not some imagined life in heaven when we die, the resurrection at the last trumpet, at the return of Christ, is the hope of a Christian. My friends, as shocking as it may sound, the Bible teaches that when we die, we remain dead until the resurrection. The Apostle Paul refers to deceased Christians as those who sleep in Jesus. That's in 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 14. Sleep is used here as a metaphor for death. Jesus himself spoke of death as a sleep. Turn in your Bible to John, the 11th chapter. Lazarus of Bethany was ill and died before Jesus arrived. Many of you know the story. When Jesus learned the news of Lazarus' sickness, he told his disciples this in John 11 and verse 11. Our friend Lazarus sleeps, but I go that I may wake him up. Then his disciples said, Lord, if he sleeps, he will get well. However, Jesus spoke of his death, but they thought he was speaking about taking rest in sleep. Then Jesus said to them plainly, Lazarus is dead. Jesus then resurrected Lazarus from the dead to live out his natural physical life. Lazarus had been in the tomb four days, and Jesus brought him back to life. As Jesus proclaimed in John 11, verse 25, I am the resurrection and the life. My friends, the Bible describes three general resurrections. You need to study into this for yourself. To help you in your study of the Bible and what happens after death, I'd like to offer you this inspiring audio CD titled, Is There Life After Death? This free audio compact disc contains three Tomorrow's World programs. Is there life after death, the three resurrections, and are they all lost forever? My friends, we all have lost loved ones and we mourn. Thank God that the truth of the Bible gives us comfort. 
As the Apostle Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 4.18, therefore comfort one another with these words. My friends, you need to study what the Bible plainly teaches. Are billions of human beings who never heard the name of our Savior lost forever? This free audio CD will give you the encouraging answer. So pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD titled, Is There Life After Death? This audio CD will give you the biblical references and you'll be able to study on your own time and at your own convenience. Just pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD, Is There Life After Death? To receive this program's offer absolutely free, or if you would like more information, visit our website online at tomorrowsworld.org. Once again, that's tomorrowsworld.org. Or you can write us at the address shown. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. In the first part of our program, we saw that there is life beyond death. The hope of Christians is the resurrection. Faithful Christians will be in the first resurrection at the last trumpet as stated in 1 Corinthians 15, verse 52. The last trumpet is the seventh trumpet described in Revelation 11, verse 15. The seventh trumpet announces the return of the Messiah, Jesus Christ, to this earth. Revelation 11, verse 15. Then the seventh angel sounded, and there were loud voices in heaven saying, The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. The first resurrection takes place at the last trumpet, the seventh trumpet of Revelation. God will give faithful Christians the awesome gift of eternal immortal life at that time. It's called a better resurrection in Hebrews 11, verse 35. Why? Because it's a resurrection to eternal life and immortality. It's the time when the saints, faithful Christians, will be born into the kingdom of God as immortalized, glorified children of God. We will then inherit the earth and rule with Christ on this earth for a thousand years as kings and priests, as it tells us in Revelation 5, verse 10. But what happens to the billions who never converted to Christianity? Are they burning in hell right now? No, they are not. Your Bible teaches that everyone who has died, with the exception of Jesus Christ, is still dead. Those people who never had their minds open to true Christianity will be resurrected in the white throne judgment. When we visit a cemetery and see the graves of strangers, friends, or relatives, we may worry about those who died not having heard the gospel of Christ. When we see the tombstones and grave markers of children or those who died as teenagers, we wonder what kind of careers, success, and life they might have enjoyed if they had not met death. Well, there is hope for those who died early in life or who were blinded to the truth of salvation. If you have your Bible, turn to Revelation 20, verse 4. Let's understand, the glorified, resurrected, immortalized saints will rule with Christ here on this earth for 1,000 years. Revelation 20 and verse 4. And I saw thrones, and they sat on them, and judgment was committed to them. Then I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God, who had not worshipped the beast or his image, and had not received his mark on their foreheads or on their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Then we read a parenthetical statement. But the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished. My friends, the second general resurrection takes place 1,000 years after the first general resurrection. 
the rest of the dead, as they are called, do not live again until the thousand years are finished. This is a resurrection to physical life in the white throne judgment. The first general resurrection from the dead is to immortal life. That resurrection is for faithful Christians. Let's continue in verse 5. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is he who has part in the first resurrection. Over such, the second death has no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. The first resurrection, as it's called, is for the saints, faithful Christians. But if there is a first resurrection, there's also a second resurrection. This is the great general resurrection to judgment. These are the rest of the dead who lived not again until the thousand years were finished. Jesus spoke about this resurrection in John, the fifth chapter, John 5 and verse 28. Jesus said, Do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good to the resurrection of life and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation or judgment, as other translations have it. But what kind of judgment will it be? Is there hope for the billions of humans who never converted to Christianity? Yes, there is hope. Revelation, the 20th chapter, Revelation 20 and verse 11. Then I saw a great white throne and him who sat on it from whose face the earth and heaven fled away, and there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. This is the second general resurrection. And books were opened, and another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. The Greek word for books is biblia. The good news is that the books or the Bible are open to the understanding of the masses of people for the first time. Remember the valley of dry bones described by the prophet Ezekiel? This resurrection described in the 37th chapter of Ezekiel also takes place at the second resurrection. The book of life is finally open to all of them. This will be their first opportunity to really learn the truth. This is not a second chance, as some would like to call it, all human beings will be held accountable for their actions and their thoughts. But this will be their first time for many to see the depth of their sinfulness. They will have the opportunity to repent of their sins and accept Jesus Christ as their Savior. Others in their resurrection will include those who were victims of accidents, oppression, and genocide. They will be healed and given a chance for a peaceful and prosperous life and a genuine opportunity for eternal life in glory. My friends, God is not unfair. It is God's purpose to give everyone who has ever lived a genuine, fair opportunity to be a part of his divine family for all eternity. He's made that purpose plain in 2 Peter 3, verse 9. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some count slackness, but is long-suffering toward us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Will the wicked people of Sodom and Gomorrah have an opportunity for repentance and salvation in the white throne judgment? Remember that Jesus witnessed to many cities in the Holy Land. Tyre and Sidon were Gentile cities along the Mediterranean coast. Their peoples never had an opportunity for salvation. But will they in the future? What did Jesus say to those who rejected him? Matthew 11 and verse 22. But I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. Yes, there is a day of judgment coming for sinful cities and peoples. In that judgment period, they will have an opportunity to repent and accept Christ as their Savior. That day of judgment is called the great white throne judgment as we saw in Revelation 20, verse 11. Let's continue in Matthew 11, verse 23. Jesus berates the city of Capernaum, which did not repent in his preaching. And you, Capernaum, who are exalted to heaven, will be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works which were done in you had been done in Sodom, 
listen to this, it would have remained until this day. But I say to you that it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. My friend, Sodom was a wicked and perverse city. God destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah by fire, as you read in Genesis, the 19th chapter. Jesus said it would be more tolerable for them in the day of judgment. Yes, the second resurrection will bring them to judgment. The second general resurrection is resurrection to judgment. This is a resurrection to physical life in the white throne judgment. As we've seen, the book of life will be open to the sinners of Sodom and billions of others. They will have their first genuine opportunity for salvation. But what will happen to those who refuse salvation, those who seal their character in wickedness and evil? We'll answer that question in the conclusion of our program. But first, to help you in your study of the Bible and the resurrection and your future, I'd like to offer you a free compact disc titled, Is There Life After Death? This audio CD contains three Tomorrow's World programs. Is there life after death, the three resurrections, and are they all lost forever? There are so many misconceptions about heaven, hell, and the resurrection. You need to study what the Bible plainly teaches. Are billions of human beings who never heard the name of our Savior lost forever? This free audio CD will give you the answer, and it will give you exciting, incredible information from your own Bible to give you hope for relatives and friends whom you may have thought were lost forever. This free audio CD, Is There Life After Death, will give you the vital information you need. This audio CD will give you the biblical references, and you'll be able to study on your own time and at your own convenience. Just pick up the telephone right now and request your free audio CD, Is There Life After Death? Just ask for the audio CD on Life After Death. To receive this program's offer absolutely free, or if you would like more information, visit our website online at tomorrowsworld.org. Once again, that's tomorrowsworld.org. Or you can write us at the address shown. With this offer, you will also receive your free subscription to Tomorrow's World magazine, full of timely articles and unique insights on today's important issues. Tomorrow's World magazine keeps you up to date with world trends, Bible prophecy, and the very meaning of life itself. Tomorrow's World. Call now. My friends, there is hope for the billions of human beings who died not having heard the gospel of Christ. People who died not knowing the truth of God will be resurrected in the white throne judgment. This is the second general resurrection, the resurrection to physical life. Billions in the white throne judgment will have an opportunity to repent. They will have an opportunity to learn successful living in peace and prosperity. They will be resurrected into a beautiful and peaceful world that will have been ruled for a thousand years by Christ as King of Kings and as the Prince of Peace. The Creator describes that world through the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah 65 verse 17, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered or come to mind. No more shall an infant from there live but a few days, nor an old man who has not fulfilled his days. For the child shall die 100 years old, but the sinner being 100 years old shall be accursed. They shall build houses and inhabit them. They shall plant vineyards and eat their fruit. They shall not build and another inhabit. They shall not plant and another eat. For as the days of a tree, so shall be the days of my people, and my elect shall long enjoy the work of their hands. What a wonderful future. Sadly, even after experiencing God's truth, some people will reject God's grace and salvation. They will refuse to repent of their sins. They will refuse to accept the sacrifice of Christ. Even today, some have already become incorrigibly wicked. But God will not allow human beings to suffer for all eternity. He will destroy them in the lake of fire. 
After the white throne judgment is complete, what happens? Revelation 20 and verse 14. Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And anyone not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. The second death is the final punishment from which there is no resurrection, no more life. The second death is eternal punishment for the incorrigibly wicked and destruction in the lake of fire. God is just. He states in Hebrews 10.30, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. The wicked will be tormented as they stand before the lake of fire. Then all the wicked will be cast into the lake of fire and burned up. They will live no longer. As it tells us in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death. That's eternal death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. God has an awesome plan for all humanity. That plan includes the white throne judgment described in Revelation 20. Has your church taught you about that amazing truth? Our inspiring audio CD, Is There Life After Death, will help you understand the good news of the white throne judgment and the hope of the resurrection. Be sure to call us or go online to tomorrowsworld.org to request your free audio CD. My friends, the good news is there is life beyond death. There is a future resurrection in the white throne judgment. Billions of spiritually blinded humans will have their very first genuine opportunity to respond to the true gospel, to surrender to their Savior Jesus Christ, and to be a part of God's family for all eternity. We invite you to join us every week on Tomorrow's World. Roderick Meredith and I will continue to share with you the teachings of Jesus Christ and the exciting end-time prophecies and their meaning. We invite you to join our colleagues, Wallace Smith and Rod King, who will also share with you the awesome truths of the Bible, the deeper meaning of life, and the prophecies of tomorrow's world. Be sure to join us again next week right here at the same time. To receive this program's offer absolutely free, or if you would like more information, visit our website online at tomorrowsworld.org. Once again, that's tomorrowsworld.org. Or you can write us at the address shown. To view today's program, order the free literature offered, or for more information on today's vital subject, visit us online at www.tomorrowsworld.org. The preceding program is produced by the Living Church of God.